Good evening, and hello world. This is Anonymous. I would like to take this opportunity to speak to a matter we have been wanting to discuss for some time. Over the course of the last few years our actions, by many of our various factions, have come to the public eye. When one carefully examines what we have accomplished, Anonymous has stood for those who had no voice before totalitarian governments. We have interceded in cases to protect human right, freedom, and we have naturally stood against censorship, particularly in our own beloved land, the interwebs. Naturally we have ruffled more than a few feathers. No tyrant particularly likes being resisted. Corrupt politicians and corporations fear and are destroyed by the truth of their actions coming to light. How many child pornography sites have we blocked and exposed their operators? We have defended human rights activists, and by pressing the world light upon their suffering have kept them from disappearing into unmarked graves dubbed for them by governments whose purpose should be to defend the life and freedom of the very people they oppress. By any measure, one would think that so many people gathering together and without urging, but through the passion of their own love of their fellow man, and taking up their cause would inspire others to do so, and yet, instead we are cast as villain. If one were to take a moment to look through the various state-run media outlets throughout the world, you would read that we are referred to as hacktivists, even as terrorists. Mind you, we each have entered into this not being thin-skinned, but let us call things as they are. Publicly one of the most common points penned by our not-so-free press is what they refer to as a denial-of-service attack. Now really, the language itself is inflammatory and entirely untrue when brought into the light. It is no more an attack than when people in good conscience assemble peacefully at the gates of an institution or a business in protest. Peaceful civil disobedience. How many times have you yourself seen protesters or workers stand before an entrance and ask that people hear their case? They will call upon others to stand with them, and properly their petition is held peacefully. No one being harmed, and no damage being done to the property. Protest. Protest as is allowed for in the governing laws of every civilized nation. Here exercised in a means which by no means harms anyone. There is never injury. Consider, a banner may be hung at the gates of a business protesting unjust treatment or corruption. The same can be said for a banner hung at the gates of a website temporarily. What this is, is a protest, not an attack. We protest within the range of our skills and experience, with our expertise in computers. In all reality, protesting as we do we risk greater penalty, legally speaking, than someone standing in most protests. So why the disparity? Because it is a particularly public failure on their part. They are hardly all powerful as they would like you to believe. People who had been uninformed of a series of facts suddenly have the truth in their hands. It is freeing. Tell me, how many of you really personally feel any degree of threat from us? None. I dare say secretly that many of you cheer our victories. More and more of everyone's life is tied to the interwebs, which as yet still extend great freedom. States and corporations wishing to crush that freedom have seized upon this and realized that it could be their very real undoing. We will continue to fight for freedom of thought, of information, of speech, of religion, and of life itself. Please understand that we are on your side. We are your neighbor, your brother, your sister, your friend at work. There is no leadership or core other than our common love and need of justice and freedom. As we stand for you we ask that you stand with us. Do not be afraid to speak. Do not be afraid to think as you will, to believe as you will. And know that we will defend your right to do so. We are anonymous. We are a legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget, you would do well to expect us.